So in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to perform a Pearson correlation test in Microsoft Excel. So to start off with, I'll introduce you to my example data set. So in this example, I have two variables of continuous data, one of participant ages in years, and the other is participants BMI. So the first thing you want to do is to calculate the Pearson correlation coefficient. So to do this in the first cell, so you want to type equals Pearson, open bracket, and then you want to click and drag the first data set, and then add a comma, and then click and drag the second data set. Close the bracket, and then press the return key. So this is the Pearson correlation coefficient value for the my data set. So this value ranges from zero being no correlation whatsoever to positive one. So this is a perfectly positive correlation between the two variables. And there's also a negative one, which is a perfectly negative association between the two variables. So a value of 0.76 indicates that there's quite a good positive correlation between these two values. But how do we then get a p-value from this? So I'm going to show you how to do that now. The next step, you want to calculate the n number. So the n number is the number of pairs in the test. So you can either manually count this if you only have a few observations, or you can use Microsoft Excel's count function, which is equals count open bracket, and then click and drag all of the values down. Close the bracket and press the return key. So the next thing to do is to create what is known as a t-statistic because then we can use this t-statistic to create a p-value. To create a t-statistic, what we need is to use the correlation coefficient. And the formula for the t-statistic is the correlation coefficient r multiplied by the square root of n minus two, all divided by the square root of one minus r squared. So what I'm going to do is to do equals open bracket r which is this value here the correlation coefficient multiplied by and then open bracket again square root n which is 11 but i'm going to click this value here minus 2 close that bracket close that bracket again and then close that third bracket and all of this is divided by open bracket the square root again 1 minus correlation coefficient squared, so to the power of two. Close the bracket and then close that bracket. Then press the return key. So the T statistic in this case is 3.5269. The next thing we need to do is calculate what is known as the degrees of freedom. So in this instance, the degrees of freedom is N, the number of observations, minus two. So I'm gonna do equals N minus two press the return key. So the degrees of freedom in this instance is nine. And finally, to bring it all together to create the p-value, we want to use the t-dist function in Microsoft Excel. So you do equals t-dist, open bracket, and then you wanna click the t-statistic for the first part of the function, comma, and now the degrees of freedom, which is what we've just created, and then the tails. So this can either be a one-tailed test or a two-tailed test. Usually a two-tailed test is what's uh, selected here. So what I'm going to do is select the value two for a two-tailed distribution, close the bracket, and then press the return key. So for my example, we have a p-value of 0 0.0064. So that is how you can perform a Pearson correlation test by using Microsoft Excel.